Welcome back to my channel, everybody. My name is Dave, and this is the Foul Scoundrel Reviews. Um, I was on Instagram earlier today. I hit over Walmart today with my wife, and we were doing some grocery shopping, stopped at the toy section, and noticed they had a few figures. And I was surprised to see how many there was, there was actually there. Typically, our Walmart does not stock anything. And I mean, you go there, it's, it's bone dry. So uh, we would have to travel quite a ways to go somewhere that sells Black Series. Anyway, I picked up a Darth Vader, an Obi-Wan Kenobi series Darth Vader. And before I put it in my cabinet, I noticed there is something a little different about this one. Let's take a look. Okay, and we have both Darth Vader figures that I own. Uh, the one on the left is the Obi-Wan Kenobi series that I picked up today. The one on the right is the Empire Strikes Back line that came out a few months ago. Which, by the way, I am eagerly anticipating the rest of that line. I cannot wait until it comes out. Anyway, um, looking at these figures, I've noticed uh, there's quite a few differences. Now, check it. I'll throw a few pictures up. Um, the one on the left is series accurate and the one on the right is movie accurate. But I really like how Disney and, and Lucasfilm paid really close attention to detail when it came to both of these action figures and how accurate they are portrayed on screen. So let's start with the Obi-Wan Kenobi helmet. Okay, if you've noticed, the helmet is a little more curved around the brow and the eyes are a different color. Uh, the eyepieces in the helmet if you see, are a lighter tint than they are in the Empire Strikes Back. Let's take a closer look. The Empire Strikes Back has a black, completely blackout tinted helmet, completely blackout tinted eyepieces. Very imposing. I'm telling you, Darth Vader just scared the crap out of me when I was a kid. <laughs> um, not to say that Hayden Christensen's Darth Vader isn't as imposing but I the, the style is a little different if you look at the eyepieces here you can clearly see on the left they're a lighter brown uh, moving on to the Polarons and chest guard uh, the Obi-Wan Kenobi series comes to a complete point and that's that's actually interesting I'm not sure why they they chose that design choice but if you notice in the Empire Strikes Back it does not come to a complete point it rounds off interesting that they're also they are both painted a little differently uh, on the Empire Strikes Back the Polderons in the chest guard is curved for contour and in the Obi-Wan Kenobi series they are straight down thicker lines as well now I'm not exactly sure why that design choice was made but it still looks very cool but uh, it, it, it is very interesting. And speaking of the chest guard, if you look at the artwork on the side of the box of the Obi-Wan Kenobi series, he has a rounded chest piece. <laughs> Strange, but still, you know, I mean, it doesn't have to be 100% accurate. But when you look at the artwork on the side of the Empire Strikes Back, he has a pointed chest piece. Oh, just an observation. Just an observation. But I thought that was kind of cool. Um, anyway, if you look at the chest piece itself, the electronic chest piece, his respirator, his life support, they are, com not going to say completely different, but they're painted different. The Obi-Wan Kenobi series reflects, I don't know if it's like a, an earlier version of the suit, and the Empire Strikes Back is an updated version, but uh, they are painted movie correct. And the buttons look different, and they are painted completely different, along with the uh, uh, utility belt that he's wearing. Very similar in style, but painted differently, both com reflecting the movies completely. Really, really enjoy the Black Series, folks. Um, you hardly find any other action figure line besides, like, the Vintage Collection that pays this close to detail. I absolutely, absolutely freaking love it. Anyway, I thought it was really interesting. I noticed those changes i i looked online and uh saw him a little late to the game uh some other folks made those observations as well but um i thought it was worth mentioning on my channel 
All right, well, those are just a couple of differences I've noticed in the Obi-Wan Kenobi series Darth Vader and the Empire Strikes Back Darth Vader I bought a few months ago. Um, I know that there were other videos done, I don't know, I'm late to the game, uh, with all of the little differences, but I, nobody has really noticed the artwork on the side of the box, so I thought it was really cool to mention uh, that the chest plates match each figure on each other's box, and so the one they're packaged in, who knows, maybe maybe they were pre-packaged and that's just how it ended up. Either way, Hasbro take my money. <laughs> uh, as far as the best of the Black Series Darth Vader's, I'm not sure, but... For me, The Empire Strikes Back, Darth Vader is hands down the coolest and most menacing Darth Vader action figure and villain on the planet. Uh, so tell me in the comments, um, do you, any of you have a favorite Darth Vader or rendition of Darth Vader? I uh, saw there was a white and pink Darth Vader. Are those your favorite? Let me know. And if you like the content and want to see more, um, leave me a like and subscribe. And remember... If it's from a galaxy far, far away, you're never far from a good time.